half past six this morning and have just arrived in Kings Lynn at shortly after 20 past nine for today's dirt track events, racing event. They, co they cover all sorts of events from juniors right the way through to flat track and sidecars and we're here for the sidecar racing and we've, we're a bit early, the gates open at 10 o'clock uh, but there's always a bit of a rush to get the places um, so that we can, we can get in the pits. I've come with, brought with me three tyres and two inner tubes so we're going to try a different uh, tactic today. We've been using a fairly narrow set of rims on, on the bike and Philip's bought a, a wide wheel that's got a four inch rim on it as opposed to a three and a half inch rim and that means that the tyre sits flatter on the track so instead of being a curve on the, on the, the track it's actually a bit flatter which hopefully will give us a little bit more grip we'll, we'll find out later on so one of the first jobs we've got to do is to put tyres and tubes into, onto the new rim ready to get it in the bike and then of course put the sprockets on and ch ch put, fit it to the bike ch get the ch chain I'll get my words out get the chain tightened to the right tension and make sure it's all running smoothly um, our normal mechanic Roger is isolating at the moment because I believe he went to France last week and had to isolate him on his return so we've got Harry Ross who's our other normal um, mechanic with us so we've, we've up to full strength team wise and we're looking forward to a good event. At the moment it's a beautiful sunny day, the forecast is for rain later, I'm hopeful that it'll hold off and give us a dry meeting. Uh, if it does rain, however, obviously we're going to have to ride it, but hopefully it won't be too hard and we can have a good day. So, let's see what happens. Here we are at Kings Lynn Speedway, the Adrian Flux Arena, and track preparation is underway. They had a banger meeting here yesterday, or hot rods, certainly cars, and they tend to leave the track in a pretty poor state. So. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of work going on to prepare the track for racing and for us to be riding it on it in about an hour and a half. This is how much work goes into preparing the track. Before they, they graded it, they rolled it down hard. Before that, they stirred it up so that it was all just loose. And now they've rolled it down hard and they're grading it to get an even surface all the way around. This goes to show how much work goes into preparing a track for 100 plus bikes to go around there on a day's racing. A lot of the work's already been done, stirring it up and putting it back down again and now they're just tidying it up. As you can see if I step out a little bit further there's quite a lot of dirt all along the, the fence there and we need that to be flat because we run the sidecar wheels along there. Pits are beginning to fill up and I'll take a quick walk through here. The quads are there. We've got GT140s behind me and Juniors, probably getting them mixed up because they're solo bikes for me and I've struggled to tell the difference. And then if I spin round, you've got my class, which is the sidecars. Still waiting for Philip to turn up. That's my bag, which is going to be our slot. So we've got Neville Penfold, Nick Stace. Paul Whiteland, Rob Wilson here at the moment. There's a slightly depleted field today, so there are going to be eight of us on the track. Four heats, two heats, two heats of four each time. Originally there were 11 people booked in, so they've, to keep the, the program going, they've put all the sidecars into two, two heats instead of to three which means that virtually every race is going to be almost like a final. But we're up for it. 
we're going to have a good day and we're going to be trying out different things so just walking out to see if Philip's arrived yet because I'm getting itchy feet if he isn't the bike's just arrived all loaded up with with all the kit and before we've even got the fairings properly on Harry's hard at it fitting the new tyre to a new rim so there's a the wider rim that I was talking about so it should make the tyre fit flatter so now that we've got both tyres on the rims you can see the difference in the way that the 4 inch wheel on the right sits compared to the 3.5 inch wheel on the left sits and it makes a huge difference on a sidecar because we don't actually lean around the corners so the tyre is square to the track when it's on the track all the time so just by having it slightly flatter means that when it's actually on the track surface and the weight of the bike and the driver and the passenger are on it it makes it quite square on the track and gives us a lot more grip This is more track preparation going on so they've now graded it and now raking it with the tractor over there they just about to spray it with water and then most likely they'll roll it again to make it flat push it all down into itself huge amount of work so they've been working on this for about four hours now the water is just to bind it and it helps keep the dust down if we get a bit of rain later on it will actually help unless we get heavy rain in which case it, it makes it very difficult to ride it's not impossible it makes it difficult to everybody that's uh, there to help have a bit of shirts please um so for the guys that have ridden that's how you do that little microphone do so for the guys who've ridden the best you know how to do it um, but for the guys who've not been um all marshals will be on the outside of the track so all flags will be run from the outside of the track including obviously the run red lights so just keep an eye on everything from there practice now normally you get two laps at this time we're going to get four proper laps we will close the pit gate we we'll all go around to the start line green flag will go up and then we get four laps and then we'll stop on the checkered flag come past the start and finish line go round obviously for solos stop on the center green with the concrete the next race will come out we then come into the pits for the side cars the same you can go around and we'll probably just get you straight in and then the next day will follow you out we're going to do um, a riders parade. Um, so at 1.50, if everyone could be ready lined up in their order of what heat one will go out. So heat one, heat two will be the same as practice. So from 1 to 13 in the program is how practice will be run. And the same with the riders parade. Um, and then trophies will be straight after, 15 minutes after the last final. We'll do the top three and we'll do them in the pits. Sidecars, um, your program has been adjusted because three of you decided they didn't want to come. Um, so, with the sidecars, work from the TVs. If there's any changes, we'll be updated, but you can work from the TV for your heats. Um, everyone else keep an eye on the number board because we have had to change a couple of the heats to the program. Again, because a couple of guys didn't turn up and then let us know after we print the programs, which is really handy. Uh, wristbands. Anybody who has got a wristband will be allowed in the pits, which should be a mechanic. Right, you do not need a wristband. If there is no wristband, you will be asked to leave the pits um, because we've just got to keep the numbers sensible with the crowd in. Um, not that everyone's interested, but if you are, football will be played after the meeting. We've got the screen, and I believe we're going to play on the big screen as well. Um, so you can stay behind. We're going to open the bar so you can stay behind. That's everything from me. As I say, we're going to aim to get practice underway for 12.30. Um, Hannah is the referee and the clerk of the course for today, so she's just going to clarify a couple of the rules. Thank you. Hi everyone. Just a couple of rules just to make sure everyone's clear. 
So if there's a race stoppage, there will not automatically be a rerun. I will make a decision based on how many laps have been completed already and or if we can make a decision if there's those of you at the front battling it out, obviously there will be a rerun. So it depends on the ability to make the decision and the number of laps completed. If we do decide to do a rerun, those of you who are, who are deemed to have stopped the race will be put on a penalty line at the back, just so you know. Um, race numbers, please, please, please make sure your race number matches that on the programme, the race number on your bike and on your kit is the same. If there's any issues there, please come and speak to one of us, otherwise we can't lap the you correctly. So if you borrow someone's bike, anything like that, and numbers aren't matching up, please let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. And just a few people that I need to see before we begin. Steve Maitland, Steve Hart, Jason Burrow, Simon Gray, Paul Smith, Bruce Stocker, and Dan Pearl. I'll repeat that again. Steve Maitland, Steve Ruth, Jason Burrow, Simon Gray, Paul Smith, Bruce Stocker, and Danny Pearl. Please come and see me. Thanks for coming. Cheers.
just had our first race and we were joint first into the first corner literally rubbing all the way around and down the first the second straight lost a little bit of ground there but we were racing a good second for the next three and a quarter and three quarter laps went a little bit wide on the final corner and rob wilson wiley old fox that he is was waiting for us to do it and came steaming by us on literally the last straight came in and philip said sorry about that i messed it up i put it into fourth gear when we were going off the start so normally we start in second gear and go up into third gear and race in third gear somehow or other philip managed to put it into fourth gear and we were still racing with it over geared for the track so we we came in and we are going to put on a wider tire and uh, with the similar gearing and see how we get on in our next week we just had our first race and we've come in and we're changing to the wider wheel to give that a go slightly different gearing we've gone upper tooth on the back which means it gears it down a little bit we had a really good race um, but we'll, we just need that little bit of an edge so this is the first time this will be the first time since we've been riding together in five years that we've had a wheel this width so we're going to be experimenting again today
race was okay. We got a good start. I got filled in coming out of the first corner. Uh, and the power that the dirt hits you in the face um, it was really, really tough. This track has got multiple use, so it's used for all sorts of events. And some of the dirt out there is really, really heavy and, and big. So big chunks of dirt. Normal speedway tracks, it's not quite as bad as that. It's normally shale, which is quite small pieces. So if you, even if you get quite a lot of that, especially when it's as dry as it is, it's not normally quite as painful. So we had a good third, but uh, that's all we can get. So now we've made the semi-finals, um, and we've got exactly the same people in our semi-final as we had in our last heat. So we're going to try and do what we can. But they're the two top riders in the in the event, or two of the top three riders in the event. So um, we're we're going to give it our best shot, but we'll probably finish. It's still quite respectable considering how well we've been getting on with bike and how many changes we've made and how much we've learned today. Riders are just coming out for the sidecar final. We've got Mick Cave, Bradley Steer, Mick Stace and Ryan Knowles, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters, and Paul Whiteland and Richard Webb. We get first, we get choice of the star positions, so the helmet colours are just there to identify them as riders, not their positions on the gates and the highest point scorer gets the, to select the position they want on the gate on the second highest and down through the card to the lowest scorer. This is always a little bit tense here. The nerves are really playing here. The stomach's churning. And then the starter the orange, put them under orders, and as soon as he moves away, the nerves disappear. 